Hello, 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 everyone. My name is Thomas Kim. Today is June 26, 2022. This is my 13th episode for C++17 2023 and other technologies. In this episode, I will discuss Intel TBB task cancellation or task cancellation. More specifically, I will discuss task group context, this task arena, and block range, especially grain size. If you want to follow my current and future sessions, you have to visit extension talkplayfun.com from this website. You have to download the source code by clicking this link. If you don't install C++ library extensions, you may not be able to follow my current and future sessions. Also, I assume you have watched my previous videos listed in this playlist in sequential order. All the videos whose title starts with Setup, Setup, Setup all the videos whose title starts with setup are must-watch videos. Otherwise, you may not be able to follow my current and future sessions. In episode 8, TBB Graph, we learned message flow graph example. In episode 12, we learned Intel program dependency program. If you haven't watched them, please watch them. Otherwise, you still cannot understand or follow my current and future sessions. I provide you all the necessary tools and documentation and materials to master this monster called Intel TBB. If you click this link, you can download Free copy of TBB by clicking this link, download book PDF. Also, if you click this link, download book sample files, you can download sample files of this book Pro TBB. Wow! From this PDF book, we will jump into chapter 15. Cancellation and Exception Handling If you are determined to learn Intel TBB, you have to read this book. In figure 215, we define task group context TZ task group. Then we execute parallel pool in federal. Then we cancel our task. If you are interested, then please keep watching. Otherwise, you can dismiss yourself. I will post this script in the description section below of this video. If you click Intel TBB Program Episode 12, this link. This is our last episode. We will pick up where we left off. Click show more. Scroll down. In the previous video section, episode 12, source, click this button to download our previous source code. Unzip it. Now rename it. Folder name will be 13. Task cancellation. Task cancellation. Copy. Paste it in your working directory. Now, fire up your Visual Studio code. Open CPP 17.20.23 Parallel. In this folder, we will rename this file. Cancel. Cpp. 
Ctrl B, Scroll Down, We Will, Delete, like this. So, we created this file in episode 12. If you haven't watched episode 11 and 12, you may not be able to follow my current and future sessions. Now, we start from here. Before we dive into task cancellation, I would like to recommend this ProTVB. If you read this ProTVB, you can learn state-of-the-art parallel programming. After dealing with chapter 14, cancellation and exception handling, we will dive into tasks. Then, chapter 11, controlling the number of threads used for execution. Then, chapter 12, using work isolation for correctness and performance. Then, chapter 13, 14, etc. It's up to you whether you watch my videos and follow my instruction. You are born with the free will to make your own choice. Void, task, task, group, cancel, relation, copy the function name, copy, int main, paste it here. We will make auto C T P T make container one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. I would copy paste 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 semi colon print C C and uh, print type of C talk play fun get type category C SCD and uh, now open up your favorite C compiler zero thirteen task cancellation we will be using Clang SCD C seventeen Cancel dot cpp ltbb twelve o c dot exe hit enter Sierra C you should see this pretty container this is SCD vector int please understand that all elements of this make container are int so vector int now we change one element 9.8 we rebuild CLSC now std vector double because this element is double, the container changes on the fly. Now we want tbb con current vector. We provide container type here. We rebuild CLSC now. This is concurrent vector of type double. Or we can change std array. We build again CLSC. Now std array double 50 elements. By default, this is default. We get CLSC SCD vector double. If we put 
Thomas Kim. Then Sierra C. Now this is Tuple. So Thomas Kim is displayed here. You can change your container on the fly. I fixed like this. We we build CLSC now back to SDD vector int. You understand how to use super powerful make container. TBB task group context TCC task group context. TBB concurrent vector std string statistics we created an instance of concurrent vector the instance name statistics now we create auto task we capture statistics also this container C by L value reference. Then this task group TGC. Here TBB. You have to remember this TBB block the Range. This is std size t const l value reference range. However, however, I prefer copy semantic like this. I will address this issue in your future. Now, talk play fun as stream output. We create a local instance of S stream or string stream output. Please pay attention to thread ID. We can extract thread ID using TBB this task arena. This has member current thread ID index. This is function max threads. Once again, TBB this task arena max concurrency then grain size from this range we can get size this is grain size we are inserting this information to this string stream buffer using n a this is simply urine character. I will put a comma here. Now, statistics in place back. Output str. This is string string. Don't miss semicolon. TBB parallel four. TBB block two. Range. STD size T zero. C size. 
then this task then this task context instead of doing this here or ring I would copy this part cut paste it here copy range paste it here it's simpler easier to understand now after this block concurrent vector we use statistics like this for auto stat statistics print stat and there now we rebuild CLSC now scroll up we are using a single thread in this case all thread ID is identical default thread ID and we can use maximum 16 hardware thread in this case probably software thread because my machine has 8 physical core and 16 logical core or 16 hyper threads grain size is 1 this grain size is important this grain size here we haven't passed anything then in this task this task is executed by calling parallel for here. We passed this task as an argument for parallel for and range. Range is defined here. In this argument, task lambda, range is size. This is grain size. So by default one. Now here this range this range this range we can change the grain size too we build again CLSC now grain size can be 1 or 2 1 or 2 1 or 2 or we can say understand the concept of grain size CLS C now 4 or 3 okay 4 or 3 grain size this grain size split this range for example grain size size let's see what happened we build again CLS C grain size 50 okay single instance of this task is executed if we make it 10 then CLS C multiple instances of this function is executed like this 3 or 4 so this grain size is a hint or we can say two test a lot experiment yourself we divided this range from size t c size by two i will make it grain size four then we are doing the actual job here this is for collecting statistics now I put a hidden number here 9.5 okay I put 
if, 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 no, 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 no. We have to use this range, this range, like this. For auto i range begin. i not equal to range end plus plus i. If we capture the C, this container C, C, I equals 9.5, then we need to collect information. I say progress. We also capture progress like this. Then talk play fun as a stream progress message. We provide information. C I is found. Now canceling the tasks. It should be N L. Progress in place back progress message str. We now use TGC like this. Cancel group execution. We cancel our job. Else, I would copy copy, paste it here, is visited, processing, index, i, n, l, like this, then, progress, Message SDR. One, two. Now we build again. Why is Kegel? Shit. Like this. Build it. CLS C. Wow. Sorry. We missed. We have to print out this too. Here. Like this, print, and there, uh, I would change this, like this, print, statistics, and uh, we rebuild, CLSC, wow! Thread ID 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2. Maximum threads grain size. 1 is visited. 10 is visited. Now 9.5 is found. Now canceling the task. All remainders are cancelled. These are actually Include, include prior to 9.5. So this is correct execution. The point is that we can cancel our work in the middle of a parallel execution. Or we complete 1.26, then 1.26. We can cancel our work anytime. C. 1.6 is found. Not canceling the task. Now canceling the task. If you want to learn something, you have to do experiment.